Hello and welcome to Hillsong Church Wicked Updates. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for your presence in my heart, Lord. Thank you for your love. Uh, thank you for the power of witnessing, Lord, you're giving to me. Please bless all this power, Lord, of witnessing, and I thank you, Lord, for it. All I'm praying and asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So today, um, I'll uh, reveal the letter I gave to Hillsong Church um, a few weeks ago. The letter is about grace. And uh, the following week I went um, just to see the response of that letter and uh, Pastor Phil Dooley responded. And he responded with a cry. He was crying. And that's an um, honest response. Anyone will cry if they've been deceiving church for so many years. And uh, for deceiving church, there's no grace. Uh, it's all curse. So if you're not under grace, you're under curse. And these troublemakers been deceiving church for years and in 2004 that's uh, when first they came to Hillsong I started witnessing to them about the true gospel of Christ so troublemakers I'll tell you who they are if you don't know what I'm talking about Troublemakers there in Galatians, Galatians 1. Galatians 1 verse 7. We'll start from verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Verse 7, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. So these troublemakers, they're Bible perverts. And verse 8, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached, unto you let him be accursed so every troublemaker who perverts the true ways of the Lord they're not under grace they're under curse and the Hillsong Church is one of the churches which are Bible perverts so this is the letter which I gave to Hillsong Church so we begin from one page. It's three pages there, so it shouldn't take long until I finish with it. Hello, unsalted world. This is Vance Radek speaking. Let's start putting heavenly salt into your souls again. Hello, unsaved world. Hillsong Church is a worldly church. And just recently the there was a preacher preaching about salt and telling church to go into the world. So he was sending them into the world and saying that they are salt of the earth without even knowing what salt is. So these worldly pastors they preach worldly messages and they want you to be part of the world. So Hillsong is charismatic church. They're preaching not to godly people, they're preaching to TV and radio. 
stations. Because they're part of it and they want to be associated in whatever work they do. So I uh, Hillsong preaching is preaching to match the world and to preach what world wants to hear and what world thinks about God and uh, who God is. So uh, Hillsong Church is a uh, copy of Catholic Church. So they um, like twins. There's not much difference between one and another. Salt in Matthew 5.13 Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of man. So if we are salt of the earth, so salt, according to the gospel of Christ, salt is the gospel of Christ. Salt is the truth of God. So if you don't have truth, you don't have any salt. So Hillsong Church salt is worldliness. So they send their congregation into the world to do whatever job they're doing and connecting with the church. In the world, they lost the Savior. So where within, wherewith shall it be salted? So they never, <laughs> never have any soul because they don't have any truth. They don't even have true Bible where the soul comes from. So they already soaked with the lies which they spread in the church and everywhere else. So I had thenceforth good for nothing. So all people who go there, they're good for nothing because they don't have any truth. And the uh, pastors, unsalted pastors, sending them to the world, they're good for nothing in the world. Only they have competition in their fleshy uh, behavior. To be different to what the world looks like. And in the, even in the fleshy behavior, a lot of them smoke, a lot of them tattooed, got marks of the devil on their bodies, which are tattoos, and uh, with all other appearances. A lot of them behave like the world. And uh, those charismatic churches, that's what they do from uh, young age. People take their kids to, to those churches. Some of them um, end up with the gift of singing have good voices, 
then those people with good voices go into the world, represent themselves on um, idol shows and turn to idols and they serve the world. And God says about those adulterers in James 4, chapter 4, verse 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is em enmity with God. Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So all those singers from those charismatic churches with the gift given from God, with good voice, they go into the world and entertaining the world. So God says to those people who do that, they are enemies of God. And the reason they're enemies, because they're idols. Um, a lot of those singers, like Elvis Presley, I think Elvis Presley got something to do with the Baptist. Um, he was very gifted. And uh, he was sent into the world and he was worldly performing to the world and he was idle. And um, a lot of people worship him. So if you go to those worldly concerts, all of them, pretty much the whole congregation and those singers, they're lifting, lifting up hands like charismatics do when they sing. So there is no, no way in the Bible says for us to sing, God commands us to sing, to lift up our hands when we're singing. So this is satanic worship when you're lifting up your hands when you're singing. So uh, the world does the same. So with those lifting up hands on all those rock concerts and all other concerts, they're worshipping those singers. So they are the idols. So I, um, charismatics, charismatic preachers, they're doing satanic job for brainwashing congregation and sending them to the world and uh, making them to be part of the world. So I, that's, that's why I started with uh, saying hello to unsalted world. In Colossians 4, 6, let your speech be all white with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye am I nigh, how ye are to answer every man, that ye am I know. See, we need to know. What about if we don't know what we are saying? Then our speech, not with grace, not seasoned with salt, but with curse and damnable lies. So when you come to any service, church service, you are there to listen and hear the truth of God, what God says about the true gospel of Christ. And when we go to those churches, especially those charismatic churches like Hillsong, they don't preach any truth. So if, you, if they don't preach truth, they're Bible pervets. They're cursed by God and they curse those cursed churches they're together with Satan and then and they will be in eternity with Satan. I mean 
Then the Willis, Pastor Senga had his speech once in my presence at Hillsong. That was in about, I don't know, 2006. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I was witnessing to them in 2004 and 2006, they, um, they agreed that they're wrong with their demonic tongues, which they're crapping up, and I witnessed about them to them for those two years. So I, um, um, they were kind of sent paparazzi on me and followed me everywhere, everywhere which I didn't like. Radio and TV um, were talking about everything what I witnessed to Hillsong in the past those two years which I didn't like as well because they were mocking on the radio and TV about what I was witnessing to Hillsong. So that's how worldly they are. And then association with the world. So Pastor Senga had his speech once in, the pre in my presence at Hillsong and he spoke about seasons. His intention was to shut me up. When I heard this nonsense, I said in my heart, the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't have seasons about God's truth. And the truth never will be shut up. And the Lord messed up seasons big time. One day, still now, since uh, 2006, after the tsunami, after the tsunami, that's where the Lord messed up all the seasons. One day winter, the next summer, the world calls it global warming. I call it global curse upon this world for all the wickedness and all this wickedness coming from charismatic churches and then gets transferred to those TV and radio channels and all this curse we surrounded with it. So here Pastor Seng and God happened to be on my side. Pastor Seng was preaching about seasons to shut me up, sort of, ah, my time is up. It's like uh, sliding away. But God got rid of all the seasons. And now we have in winter, summer and summer winter. So God is on my side. And preaching the truth, you can preach in any season. If God gives you the power, you go and preach. Doesn't matter what season. And you, Pastor Singer, don't speak with grace and soul, but trying to reject grace and soul to continue with your damnable lives. They don't have any grace. They don't have any truth. They don't have any soul. They still, since 2004, when I went there, still up to, up to today, still lie to congregation, church congregation, about the true gospel of Christ. When I went there, it was a hell on earth. All these tongues crapping up for him, <laughs> every side of the... audience running around screaming, like animals, no, no Bible preaching at all. Now, now they changed a bit, so they're preaching from perverted Bibles, the Gospels of Man.
I am from the, from the other side of the table trying to witness grace and soul, but getting punished for it. See, these Bible pervets trouble my because they hide the truth. They bring any pastors from anywhere around the world to preach liars and damnable liars, perverting the true gospel. Not long ago, someone came from uh, Sweden, all the way from Sweden. And all he said is, be humble. He came all the way from Sweden to tell Hillsong Church and to tell me to be humble. And his humbleness, he didn't give any verse from the Word of God. So what he actually meant, be humble when you're receiving all the lies at Hillsong Church. And shut up. Don't oppose to them. Agree in everything what this devil is saying. So I, uh, he came all the way from Sweden to tell us to be humble to Satan. back to him a bit later. I started witnessing about soul since 2004 at Hillsong Church and still continue just like the Lord commanded. Acts 1 8, but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witness sent to me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the most part of the earth. So we are the salt of the earth and we have power which God gives us and God gives me to witness about God's truth. If you're witnessing about God's truth, you have power. If you're witnessing perversion, you don't have any power. Your power is from Satan. I mean... Power comes from the Lord to witness grace seasoned with salt. I mean, now, what I noticed since 2004 at Hillsong Church, Pastor Phil Dooley speaks a lot about being under grace. Pastor Phil Dooley, I have news for you. To be under grace, your speech must be always spoken with grace. Question, when you're crapping up in your charismatic tongues, do you speak with grace? No, nah, he doesn't speak with grace. He speaks with a curse because he lies to the church about biblical tongues. Do you know what does it mean? Let your speech be always with grace. See, if you don't finish the Lord Jesus Christ spiritual Bible college, being a fisherman fishing on sharks, you will never speak with grace seasoned with salt to give every man the true answer. Jesus Christ said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ made me the fish, fi, fisher of sharks by following the Lord Jesus Christ and these sharks it's pastors at Hillsong Church they're evil workers who pervert the true ways of the Lord and they're very bad bad as bad as sharks in the ocean
So if you don't want to be beaten by shark, you don't go in the deep ocean because it's a shark territory. If you, if you go there, you have a chance to be eaten by shark. So I've been going to shark's territory since 2004 to witness to those species. And God gave me the power to witness. And uh, there's no one else done this. I went there and uh, they've been perverted and they continue to be perverted. Man in Colossians 4, 6, singular. So every man must hear the truth. God concerned for one man. One man with, with God, that's majority. Amen. So there is no grace in your charismatic tongues. Why? Because this tongue season with lies. They're not biblical. You're telling people to do something which is not from God. So you're lying to people about God. Who's the father of all lies? What about all the world, the Bibles you're speaking to people from? And you distributing them to all newcomers. Newcomers come to church, then you give them so-called um, to call them to lift up their hands to receive whatever they're receiving and then you're giving them gospel of man, some perverted Bible. So that's when the devil starts working in them with all the lies from that dead book which you're giving them right from the beginning. So here's the father of our lives. What about all the worldly Bibles you're speaking to people from? Is your speech spoken with grace? So lying about, so lying to people about God, that's your grace, right? So I, since 2004, when I stepped in first to Hillsong Church, up to last week, I went there, the line, the line to congregation for all those years. So they rise to lie about God. So if the father of all lies, the devil, John 8:44. John 8, 44, year of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, yeah, will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. But he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. He speaks of his own. So that's why all these perverted trouble makers, they don't have the word of God. They have all these perverted worldly Bibles, and they speak of their own. There's no preaching of um, truth in those churches. In, in, uh, uh, and one of them is Hillsong. So if there's no truth there, there's no grace. Because grace and, through, uh, grace and truth is uh, stuck together. So when God gives power to witness, another side of the table has no soul, your time is up to rise white flag. When Goliath lost his battle, all his army became useless and powerless. When Hitler lost World War II, that's it, time to play funeral music and take the winner's side. When Hitler lost World War II to Russians, 
the world agreed. All right, Russia won. So we, we're not going to attack them. And wipe them from the face of the earth. America could have done that. Hitler done a lot of damage to Russians. He, what, they killed more than 20 million Russians in that World War II. Other country could have continued. China or America or any other uh, big powerful nation. But they agreed. Russia won. Well, let's celebrate the win. Hitler lost and that's it. The Nazi is finished. So Hillsong, you lost the battle with your demonic tongues and Brian Houston left your church because he, his, he, he was the first I was witnessing to. So he lost the battle, he ran away. And the same you feel duly. You're a loser there. And when you were in front of the church and I was coming through the front door, you were standing there to say hello to me. And I appreciate that. And I shake your hands and said hello to you. And I said to you, that I'm here to challenge your tongues. And your reply was, oh, I've got not much to do with it. It's uh, all others in the church. So you're powerless. You're like nobody there. Goliath, Brand Houston, dead. He's out of the church.